Origin and it's how they marinate their sashimi. Paul doesn't really like to eat um, here. I froze it so worms and stuff can like um, go out, and it's a nicer texture when you freeze it first. So I'm gonna cut it into little cubes. Um, and pokey is a Hawaiian. Um, bowl. You eat it by itself with sesame oil, soy sauce, a bunch of marinade by itself or over rice. It's delicious. So I'm just going to prepare everything and it's what we have on board but Paul doesn't like to eat sashimi so I'll cook his a little bit but pokey should be all rare like a sashimi bowl. Okay so I'm going to marinate everything and I'll like you sort of know the measurements. I'm not about measurements. You can YouTube that. Or Google it. So any cheap sesame um, oil and um, soy sauce. And a little sriracha. This is fake sriracha by the way. Right here. Not the real thing. But a little bit spice. So um, this morning we had a vegetable platter. So I just reused what we didn't eat. A little capsicum that spelled peppers for you guys. Um, Americans. And red cabbage. 
because I don't really have what we have in California and Hawaii to make a real poke bowl. Um, they usually use avocado. Oh, oh, I do have cucumbers. So, ooh, look it. I cut, um, I did this in my spiralizer. I'll show it to you guys one day. I love it. Carrots and beetroot or beets for the Americans. And leftover um, carrots again. And I'm going to put it all together with the rice bowl. Okay, to be continued. So I put that back in the freezer, just a small freezer to keep it cool. Um, until Paul wakes up, I decided to add um, some onions for texture. Um, Paul doesn't like raw onions, but it gives a good oomph. And um, I put fresh um, green onions and a little bit of, um, what do you call that? Ginger, fresh ginger. And I made um, wasabi out of powder. Um, I already made it, so I put it here so we can eat it later. Also, Paul doesn't eat too spicy, but whatever's left on the spoon, I'm just going to spread around. And since I couldn't find sesame seeds, so I thought I might have some to heat up. I'm going to try um, poppy seeds, you know, to give that crunch. Something different. Living on a boat is you have to be very creative and innovative because you don't have the supermarket with you all the time and you can't buy stuff. So you just have to use your imagination and think, oh, okay, um, sesame seeds could be a little bit similar to poppy seeds. And if it doesn't work, I won't try it again and it could be really good. I'll add that crunch to it and I'll see what happens. So I'm just mixing the marinade around, which was soy and um, sesame oil. And I think the sesame oil gives it a really beautiful flavor. That's what you need more of, the sesame oil. So I might add a little bit more um, onion to this. Let me taste it. Um, mm, I think I put too much soy sauce but still works I'm gonna put more onion in it and maybe a little bit more ginger and um, wasabi finally Paul's awake and I'm starving to eat my poke bowl so I filled it with rice there's Paul and I'll plate it um, I added wasabi so I'm gonna put more green onions so we'll see mr. Paul's awake finally I'm so starving we're very becalmed. We're going like two and a half knots too. But remember when I made the poke bowl? There it is. That's the finished product. I plate it with rice, raw tuna, the marinade I talked about earlier, and fresh green onions. And I put um, wasabi in mine. So, bon appetit with wine. Are you ready? I'm ready. So I love this song about romance. And I made Paul the poke bowl. Doesn't that look yummy? We're having wine. He's having Woodstock, that's bourbon and coke. Look how romantic this is. I've just woken up. So my poke bowl is done with white wine chilled. Watching the beautiful water sailing along at two and a half knots. And my $4 sarong dress. 